You know, it's not often that your best friend hits you up and is like, hey buddy, let's go down to Florida tomorrow and check out a brand new experimental truck, one that's never been done before. Sign me up, I'm ready to go. But before that, the giveaway for the Saline Mustang is going on right now. I'll make this really short and sweet. If you guys buy anything off InChainDesigns.com, down in the description, times 15 entries right now, you're entered to win a brand new Saline Mustang or a C6 Corvette. So make sure you guys get on that, times 15 entries. Don't miss out, let's head to Florida. Harrisburg International, Ram TRX, Michael. Oh yeah. It's about four, probably 10 till five in the morning. You know, we've been buddies for 10, 11 years or something like that. Yeah, long time. Never flown together. Oh, well, you like, always had a job. Yeah, I was always so working just, and flying. We and, flew uh, together, we went to Florida once. Did well, we? We all flew to Florida once, yeah, the four of us. Oh yeah, we did happen. One one, time, one, I think it's only one time though. One time. Sadly. Yep, so here we are back to Florida for a day trip. I've only done this one other time in my life down to Tennessee, down and back. So here we go, a little surprise for you guys. Uh, speaking of Ram TRX, oh, yeah. this ought to be fun. Fort Lauderdale, nice and oh, hot right. and muggy out. It feels, it feels like Florida. The Florida mugginess. This is big down here. Mike and I were just talking about this. The Cuban flag's just repping on every vehicle. It's pretty crazy what's going on there. I guess, uh, I guess communism doesn't work anymore. Maybe we never did. Yeah, communism definitely doesn't work. Ram TRX time. Let's see it. Let's roll around. I'm gonna take a back seat, let Mike enjoy it, because that's his this is his thing, but you guys will definitely get to see a sneak peek on uh, my channel today. But he's rolling up to pick us up in the 6x6 TRX. You can see the lights sort of over the cars rolling up. That thing is insanely tall. Oh my god. It's massive. It's got like the old tow mirrors on it. That's actually sick. <laughs> Tell by the embers. Two fog lights folded down. That's pretty cool. Oh my god. Oh my. Look at that thing. Oh my. Oh, that the, it's got the T Rex like little logo on the side here. with a highlighter wrap, how sick that would be. We're here at SoFlo Jeeps, what's crazy is though, um, back here, they have so many custom Jeep Gladiators. If you ever want it, like, I've heard a lot of people that are unsure about a Jeep Gladiator. I say, man, a few modifications, these things are insane. I don't know what these are, if they're 40s or 44s, definitely not 37s. Uh, and then this is all like rhino lined bed liner on here and they have the aggressive uh, kits. So essentially your ground clearance is insane and you're never gonna have wheel rub. Uh, this is just beautiful. Like if you're not into the Jeep Gladiator, come to this shop here, SoFlo Jeeps, not pay promotion, just this is sick. I didn't know that this is what we were stumbling into. I thought we were just gonna be down here to look at a really cool six by six TRX, um, but lots of crazy stuff. They got the Apocalypse 6x6 over here. They sell, they apparently sell six to 10 of these a month. I did not know it was possible, especially in a shop this size. I mean, it's very big, but I mean, they must work their asses off here to get Jeeps out that quickly. Huge tires, insane offset, just lots of custom stuff in here, like the engravings, um, just everywhere. Just really unique stuff. Uh, it has the date like since 1941, whenever Jeep was uh, formed and developed and then just steel bumpers the whole way around. This is actually really cool. It's reminiscent of the H1 Hummer, this big slope back. It'd actually be really cool if you could extend this back in here and have interior like carpeted. I don't know, that'd be so badass. Just super utilitarian. They said that the most of their clientele here is um, like just the quiet lawyer that comes in and just wants a badass build in their garage, which I can imagine, especially down here in Southern Florida. If you guys have never been here before, it is another world. I've been here several times um, and it never disappoints. Here's just a regular Jeep Gladiator, not with the back axle here. Um, and these are all like actual direct drive, like they work. So whenever this thing is in two wheel drive, uh, whenever this is in two wheel drive, it's in two wheel drive, four wheel drive, four wheel drive, obviously. But whenever these are in two wheel drive, they're really in four wheel drive because all four of these wheels back here are actively spinning. And whenever you put it in a four, into four wheel drive, what the Jeep thinks is four wheel drive, these kick in and you have six wheel drive. So super badass. And they have tons of custom, custom interior. You guys can't really see it. Might be able to get inside of one of these Jeeps at some point. Um, but the diamond stitching on everything, just really cool. They go the extra mile. Don't know the price tag, but I'm sure it's uh, 
it definitely matches the quality of these builds. You got a white like bed liner on this. Like look at the grill, like all custom, like comes out here. Like you can see, it's like just everything's super aggressive. Uh, this is 3D printed on here, Apocalypse. It's got like a nuke, like the, what you'd see, the, the mushroom cloud from a nuke on here. I mean, just all the little details on all these Jeeps. They have the Hellcat uh, logo right there because it's got the V8 in it. So it's been V8 swapped, which is just so freaking cool. And one of my favorite modifications, or I guess just little accessories for a vehicle is to put the spare tire on the back rack. I don't know, it just adds character to like that Baja look. I'm glad they went with like something different because whenever we pulled up, I was like, oh, I bet you it's Stormtrooper themed. And it's not, which uh, Stormtrooper theme would be cool, but it's just cool because uh, it seems like it's overdone. And I always love Jeeps with this like aggressive, it almost looks like uh, armored vehicle build. Uh, whenever you see that, it's just really, really tough. I don't think these are rated for being bulletproof, but it looks like they are, so that's pretty cool. And it just goes on and on and on. Uh, they got fuel wheels here on this one, slope back. I've never seen this before. I mean, maybe I'm just out of the scene with, with Jeeps, but to have a slope back on this for the Jeep, uh, it's actually really cool. I dig it. It looks it looks neat. Apparently sell, uh, or they move about 100 Jeeps a month, and like I said, 8 to 10 of the 6x6 Jeeps are moved out of here, and now dabbling into the 6x6 TRX just insane this is what i'm talking about with customization that just everything they put on here huge screen in the middle i didn't know that jeep did this i don't i don't think they do that's got to be aftermarket there's no way that the jeep does that maybe i'm wrong but i think that's added uh they have the again the like the little like new mushroom cloud here apocalypse the little nickname um custom interior all around the leather stitching just looks beautiful look even on the key fob apocalypse these are all on 40s. The clearance here is maybe an inch, inch and a half in between. That's insane. Freaking crazy. Yeah, was not, I was not expecting this coming down here. I thought we were going to see a cool truck, and that's about it. I didn't know it was going to be at, like something you see out in California, LA. <laughs> Just ridiculous build. Here's something pretty awesome. I get to drive the 6x6 Gladiator up here that I was talking about, the first one that we showed, with like the armored back. We're gonna go for a little ride here. You ready, Bobby? Dude, I am ready. Look at this, is it like, what, all this? This is all custom. Just like cool stuff. The whole, the, everything here is custom. Got the apocalypse in the uh, steering wheel here. It is so freaking, this shop, guys. Diamond stitching. Unreal. Never drove the 6x6, uh, the six six, so this is new. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh. It's a little bit long, a little bit, because the, I mean, look, they got people here just taking pictures. And it goes, dude. Out. This is the this is like the Texas of the East. Florida is the Wild West. You can do whatever you want with vehicles. There's no inspections. <laughs> That's only 70%. Woo! Sounds that good. That is freaking epic. A That's six amazing. wheel drive Hellcat powered Jeep, buddy. Are worthless because the hips are so far off. I can't see lane lines. 
Alright, here we go. Like what a slingshot. Like a hand. Oh. Yeah, oh my god, yeah. Is the Camaro pulling out? He's gonna let me go. Oh yeah, I like what you got. Oh yeah, this is easy mode. We just pull over here and do a little little point turn. No rub. We're not quite at full lock, but they gotta be used to this stuff though. They got yeah, like the shops right fun. down the road. It's not like this is so sick. I mean your neighbors even still break their necks in your vehicle, so. Thank you, Camaro, for waiting for us. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Dude, they probably know everyone. This is all custom. What do you say? It was like an Android tablet? Yeah, I don't know fully, if that's a secret. Something like that. Fully Look custom that. Apoc apocalypse. What do you think about this company so far? Well, I, I've been telling you, it seems like we're blowing smoke. I'm, I'm not. It's, yeah. it's it's insane how, like, this is how it should be with car companies. Like, just this, this is what you see in Florida, I guess. Yeah, this it's is this nuts. level of craziness. Their goal is to really become, like, make Apocalypse a new company, like a new car company that builds. Yeah, it'll be based on Jeeps, but they want it to be like, you look at it and you know it's something totally different. I feel like they're on the right track because driving that, and I'm guessing driving this, feels nothing like a regular Jeep, nothing at all. And uh, with all the interior stuff they do and all the exterior goodies they add, like it really does feel like a completely different vehicle. And I mean, it's super cool. So you got to drive a Hellcat Jeep. I did. This is my my time now. Your turn, buddy. Here we go. Oh, oh listen to that. Oh my God! I didn't, did you even notice this? Did you notice that when we drove by? Oh no. Luckily, we're right <laughs> by the police station. <laughs> Dude, that sounds ridiculous! Wow! I was so wondering why this had such a big hump on it. I guess to fit the uh, blower on there, the supercharger. This one might be like upgrade. This this might not be a stock Hellcat. I don't think it is. I'm running out of words to describe how incredible these things are. We need more adjectives. Oh my! Look at all the gear. Like I've never seen wires like because there's, there's a there's a uh, yeah there's a camera up here, dashboard camera. Well, it's genius. And he said because like when you look out the back, you got a big forty on the back rack. You can't see. Which by the way, that is a full size extra wheel and tire on there. So they added a camera, that way you can actually see what's behind you. It's it's genius. Yeah, that back wind is about worthless. Oh my god, dude. That is crazy loud. Should I floor it? Do it. Floor it! <laughs> oh my god! So driving the TRX 6x6, six six, what's weird, I'll tell you what, like I drive mine every day. I don't feel a difference. Doesn't feel, see, at that's, all. that's the actual test. Like, yeah, I do, and it's actually pretty cool because I do drive one every day. I am the ideal person to drive this one and tell you, like, is it good, bad, is it the same? Um, it doesn't feel any different at all. Like, let me take off from the, as if I am in my normal truck here. It's this, it's like, on. it's unreal. I can't believe how comfortable Even, these Jeep yeah, or it, vehicles are six by six. Acceleration is the same, ride quality. We'll launch it a little bit here. We'll see. All right, here we go. There's a copper. Ready? Oh, there's a cop. There's a copper right okay. there. We will not launch it then. Cop right ahead. <laughs> All right. Let's get off the MPG screen. We don't need to see that. We don't need to see. That's just depressing. How bad our gas mileage is. Look how rough this bad is. Bad bumps. Right? Translate to it's all railroad. Here it goes. That's pretty. Dude, there's that's nothing pretty to it. Smooth. I mean, it's nice and like gushy, like because that's just the way off road suspension is, but it's not rough. <laughs> that's all. Still got it, dude. It's still got it. Let me see if I can feel a difference with full acceleration. Ready? It's pretty much even. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't notice a difference. Oh my god! I, I, it doesn't feel real. Like uh, there's there's no way there's an extra actual behind us. <laughs> just... Launch control in his six by six truck. Come on. Since Mike's like the chaperone of this little trip here, I said, Mike, I'm hungry, man. We got to go to McDonald's. So the chaperone's bringing us out. And uh, we had to do it. We had to go to McDonald's here. Oh my God. I got to say, I love it. Oh yeah, dude. I love what Look we got the going on. The palm trees. Look at that. I love, I love what we got going on here. Absolutely. It's ridiculous, heater. dude. Look Absolute at this. Heater. I think it's going to work. Oh, it'll work. You got clearance, I think. I think so. It's not that tall. No. <laughs> Give me a Big Mac. Big Mac, Big Mac for the big truck. 
I gotta tell you, this is working out great. No, no curb rub. I'll tell you what, though, if there was a curb here like some McDonald's have with the yellow line, it'd be a little tough. Because we're getting close. How are we looking? I think I pulled that off perfectly. If there was a curb on this side, you'd be close. That's exactly where I want to be, though. Yeah, I'm um, at take order. Hi, uh, man, please get a McDouble, then a large fry, and then a large, or just a water, bottle of water. McDouble, large fry, and a bunch of water. Yes, ma'am, and then may I also get a, a number one large with a Dr. Pepper. Anything else? That's it. Southern Florida, baby. Different world down here. Like I said, I visited a couple times. It is a sight to be seen because Yes, this is crazy to see a Ram TRX 6x6 here, but you know what? I wouldn't picture it in any other place if I was going to see one. It would be in Florida. See, he wouldn't have made that turn. If there would have been a curb there, this wouldn't have worked. And I've seen that at McDonald's before. If he would have taken the inside lane, it would not have worked. Dude, full lock. I think I did pretty, that was full lock though. Almost as long I'm just as saying, if you would have taken the inside lane, that would have been a little tight. Yeah. A little tight on that. Maybe I'd I mount good. the curb. I think for most drivers, we'll be okay. Oh, yeah. So, well, I'm hungry, buddy. All right, get on in here. Look at those toe mirrors. You're about to scrape. I know. My The mirrors are freaking massive. All right, so, verdict. Verdict. Six by six, uh, G Rock. Good. Yeah. Pretty good, man. Oh, good. Stamp of approval. Well, we're wrapping up here down at SoFlo Jeeps. I really appreciate you guys sticking along. Like I said earlier in the video, I know this video pretty much mirrors mics. It's hard to have like different content. We were only on the ground for about two hours. Uh, so thank you guys for being true fans, watching my video as well, and, and giving me some props. It means a lot. Um, but big shout out to them. It was so cool that like we didn't expect them to just throw us the keys. And then we have all day, or I, the only two hours we had here, but still to just play with all the Jeeps we wanted to. I mean, if we had all day here, I would have gone nuts, taken us down to the beach, aired this down. It's so sick. Like even as we're about to leave, I noticed the little details they over these specific tires because they have like the the lizard print on it and the, the like raptor claws or, or dinosaur claws so it's meant to look like uh and match the theme of the t-rex build the warlord love that name i used to play battle tanks global assault for the nintendo 64 and i remember the one game it was called warlord uh and it was just so cool it was like it's like i love um the uniqueness of this vehicle so let's head on home we're gonna fly to philly and then back to harrisburg so i'll see you guys at the airport. Five more Lauderdale, headed to Philly. Here we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Say so flow in the comments just to give the company that hooked us up for uh, our little day down in Miami a shout out because big ups to them leave a like on this video it helps out more than you guys know i mean it just it's huge on the analytics end just to help get the videos out there and be promoted uh, i appreciate you guys watching this late it means a lot so let me know what you guys think about the builds and we have a ton more stuff coming to the channel a lot more original content we're gonna get back to the zr2 which is out here in the driveway nice and filthy you got to get that thing cleaned up uh some modifications coming as well so the build's not done we got a lot more to cover get high boys i'll see you guys later